everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Jonna Martinez and in this tutorial we are going to crochet this beautiful snowflake. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial, liking it, sharing the YouTube link with your friends, and leaving me a comment. To begin, I have printed off the pattern and chosen some worsted weight 100% cotton yarn. You can use thread if you like for this pattern, but I thought that the thicker yarn would show up better in the video. I am also going to be using an F 3.75 millimeter crochet hook, a pair of scissors, and a yarn needle to sew in my ends. Create a slip knot. Insert your hook and chain five to begin. One, two, three, four, five. Slip stitch to your very first chain to form a ring. Next, chain one, and we are going to place 12 single crochet into this ring. So you're going to do that by inserting your hook into the ring like this, through the center, grabbing your yarn and pulling up a loop. We have two loops on our hook, yarn over and pull through both loops for a single crochet. We're now going to place 12 single crochet all the way around this ring. Once we get to 12 single crochet, I will meet back up with you for the next step. Here I have 12 single crochet and you probably will need to move your stitches over so that all 12 can fit. You're then going to slip stitch to your very first stitch to complete the round. So just inserting your hook and grabbing that working yarn and pulling it through and through. Now we can begin round two. Round two, chain three. One, two, three. This chain three is going to count as a double crochet and chain one. Next, double crochet into the next stitch. So to double crochet, we're going to yarn over, insert our hook into the stitch, grab our yarn and pull up a loop. We have three loops on our hook, yarn over, pull through the first two loops. Now we have two loops, yarn over, and pull through the last two loops. And that is a double crochet. Chain one and double crochet into your next stitch. Chain one and repeat. Here at the end of round two, the last thing I've done is done a chain one, and then you want to slip stitch into the second chain from the beginning. So one, two, and slip stitching. Now we should have 12 double crochet and 12 chain one spaces. To begin round three, slip stitch into the first chain one space, which is right here. So I'm just inserting my hook grabbing my yarn and pulling it through and through. Now chain two, one, two. This chain two will count as our first double crochet. Yarn over and double crochet again into that same space. Chain three, one, two, three. And then place two more double crochet into that same space. One for me, and two. Chain three, one, two, three. Skip a chain one space, and into this next chain one space, we're going to sort of repeat exactly what's here. So two double crochet, chain three, and two more double crochet. One. two, chain three, one, two, three, and two more double crochet. One, two. Chain three, one, two, three. Skip the next chain one space and repeat what we just did into the next chain one space. Go ahead and repeat this all the way around 
And we, when we get back over here, I will meet back up with you. At the end of round three, you want to make sure and chain three, and then slip stitch to the top of your chain two at the beginning. At the end of this round, we should have 24 double crochet and 12 chain three spaces. From here, we can begin round four. Now, round four, I'm going to slip stitch into my first chain three space, which is right here, and chain three. One, two, three. This chain three is going to count as my first treble. Next, we're going to treble crochet into the same space. To treble crochet, you're going to yarn over twice, insert your hook, grab your yarn, and pull up a loop. We have four loops on the hook. Yarn over, pull through the first two loops. Now we have three loops on the hook. Yarn over, pull through the second two loops. Yarn over and pull through the last two loops. And that is a treble crochet. Chain three, one, two, three, and place two more treble crochet into this same space. Yarn over twice, insert your hook, grab your yarn and pull up a loop. You have four loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through the first two loops. Yarn over, pull through the second two loops. Yarn over and pull through the last two loops. And I have one more into this same space. Chain three, one, two, three, and single crochet into this next chain one, chain three space. So we have chain three. So single crocheting. Then chain three, one, two, three. And again, we are going to place four treble separated by a chain three. So one, two, chain three, one, two, into this next space. I have one, and two, now chaining three, and two more. One, two, chain three, one, two, three, and then single crocheting into that next chain three space, just like we did here. Chain three, one, two, three, and then begin your trebles again. Once we get to the other end right here. I will meet back up with you for the next round. At the end of round four, you wanna make sure and chain three and then slip stitch to the top of the chain three at the beginning. At the end of this round, we will have 24 treble crochet and 18 chain three spaces. Now from here, we can begin the fifth and final round of our snowflake chain one, and single crochet in the top of each of these first two trebles. Slip stitch into this first chain three space, and chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Slip stitch into the fourth chain from hook. So two, four, and your first pico is made. Now we are going to make a three treble cluster. Yarn over twice, insert your hook into the chain three space, grab your yarn and pull up a loop. 
yarn over, pull through the first two loops, yarn over, pull through the second two loops, and stop. Yarn over twice, insert your hook into the same space, grab your yarn and pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two more loops, and stop. Yarn over twice, insert your hook into the chain three space, grab your yarn and pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through the first two loops, yarn over, pull through the second two loops, and stop. Now we have four loops on our hook, yarn over once more, and pull through all four loops on your hook. And there is a three treble cluster. From here we're going to create a triple pico. Chain four, one, two, three, four. We're going to catch this front loop over here of this stitch and also the front strand of this very last post over here. So we're just going to grab that little top front strand and we're going to slip stitch through and through. Chain five, one, two, three, four, five. Now a slip stitch, grabbing the very last loop of that other stitch right, right here. So if you see, let's see here. We have a loop going this way, right here. A loop going down here. And then another loop over here. We're going to insert our hook from the top and grabbing all three of those strands. And we're going to slip stitch. Now chain four, one, two, three, four. And we're going to do that again. We're going to grab this front loop right here, this loop right here, this loop and this loop. So we have four loops to grab here. And grab your yarn and pull it through and through the loop on your hook. And there we have a triple pico. Next we're going to slip stitch around the base of this triple pico. So what I'm going to do is just put my hook like this, grabbing my yarn, bringing it back forward, and then through that last loop. And now chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Slip stitch to the fourth chain from hook. chain one and to finish just slip stitch back into that chain three space. Next single crochet two one into each of these the tops of these trebles one two and then two more single crochet into this chain three space. One, two. From here we can do a chain three pico. One, two, three. Slip stitch into your very last stitch. And you can see here, I like to go from the top of the stitch, grabbing that front loop and then also the side loop and slip stitching. That's how I do my little picots. Skip over this single crochet and place two more single crochet into this chain three space. Into that last single crochet, chain three, one, two, three, and slip stitch for the chain three pico. From here, we're back at the beginning again. And 
and we can do all of this four more times. So one, two, three, four. And you will again start with two single crochet, two single crochet into those trebles, then a little pico, three treble cluster, then your triple pico, then another pico over here, two single crochet, followed by two more single crochet, a chain three pico, two more single crochet, chain three pico, and then repeat. Once we get back over here, so once we have one, two, three, four, five of these, I'll meet back up with you for the last step. This is how my work looks so far, and we can go ahead and complete this last point. I'm starting with a single crochet in each one of these two treble. It's one, two, slip stitching into the chain three space. Chain four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Slip stitching into the fourth chain from hook. And then making a three treble cluster. After making the cluster stitch, chain seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Slip stitch to your very first chain. Chain one and turn. Place 11 single crochet into this chain seven ring. After completing the 11 single crochet, you're going to slip stitch around the base of this that we just created. Now I'm going to, you can see here that this is the back of the snowflake and I'm just going to turn it like this so that I can finish the rest of the stitches on the right side. Chain five, one, two, three, four, five. Slip stitch into the fifth chain from hook. There we've created a pico. Chain one and slip stitch to this chain three space. And there we've created a little hanger for our snowflake. Next, single crochet in the top of the next two treble. It's one, two. In this chain three space, place two single crochet. One, two. Chain three for a chain three pico. Skip the single crochet. Single crochet two, chain three, create a pico, and slip stitch to your very first single crochet of the round. Then fasten off. And sew in your ends. Here is my finished snowflake all ready to be blocked and stiffened. After I have done that, it will be ready for decoration. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Please remember to like this video, comment on it, share the YouTube link with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Have a lovely crochet day, and I hope to see you again in my next tutorial. Bye!